Sit. This is Stella, and Stella is one of three dogs in the house, and they have accents in the house. So in this video, we're gonna talk about potty training and some tips you can have if you have adult dogs that like to potty in the house. Now, I'm gonna start off by talking about the two things you absolutely don't wanna do is if a dog is uh, having an accent, if you rub their nose in it, you're actually teaching the dog not to come and tell you when they have to potty. And it, uh, every study has shown that when you do that, it makes the dog potty training much more difficult. Uh, as a behaviorist, I only use positive reinforcement, and that's what we're gonna talk about here because that's really the best way to do it for potty training. So rule number one, never rub your dog's nose in it. Rule number two is never get mad and angry with them. Stella, bad girl, you potty in the house, and I don't like you when you potty in the house. All Stella hears is, Stella, come. is uh, the humans get pissed when you potty. So instead of telling them, again, I'm gonna go hide somewhere. So what we wanna do is we wanna come up with a word for potty. Now, if you have been using a word and your dog's not very pot well potty trained, I would come up with a new word. So I'm gonna use the word business, which is the word that I like. I use. I like using fun command words because dogs are the only animal on the planet that can read human facial expression. So if I say, you know, a business, and my dog pops a squat and poops one out, people kind of laugh at that. Crash. This is my word for down. All right, so what we want to do is, uh, now it's a little, the guardians just put in a dog door, which is awesome, but during potty training, it can make it a little bit confusing. So what I, what you might want to, since it's brand new to them, put it down temporarily and really focus on this potty training for one week solid. So every time the dog goes out, well, the three times the dog's likely to go, need to go, right after waking up, five minutes after eating, and 15 minutes after heavy playtime starts. So as soon as they start roughhousing, look at your clock, watch, okay, it's 5.44 at six o'clock when we take them outside, whether they want to or not. Having them in the right place at the right time is a huge part of it. So when I'm potty training a puppy, I always take them out once an hour as well as those three times. And the more they do it outside successfully and you reward them, the more they're likely to do it. So what I'm gonna do is go outside and give each dog five minutes to go. If they don't go in five minutes, it's not urgent enough for them to need to go. A lot of people think the longer they're out there has a correlation, it does not. So after five minutes, the dog doesn't, oh, I usually bring the dog inside and keep it on a leash or put it in the kennel for 15 to 30 minutes. And then I take the dog outside and give it another five minute opportunity to potty. And I keep repeating this process until the dog starts to pee or poop. Now, as soon as the dog starts to pee or poop, within three seconds of them starting, and the sooner you start, the more effective it is, I'd say the word business and say it in a normal tone of voice. A lot of time when your dog's having an accident in the house, they do outside the room, business! You see how the, we have different energy. That'll often stop them from peeing and they won't evacuate their bladder, then they'll come inside and have an accident. So what you wanna do is when they, she starts to go, just say business in a conversational tone and just say just business, like good business, Stella, business. And as soon as she gets done, you wanna have a high value training treat, business. Always put the treat in the mouth first and say the command word after, not just for potty, but for any time you give your dog a treat. That makes the word a little bit brighter. So the idea is you take her outside and she has five minutes to go. If she doesn't go, she comes back inside and she's restricted so she can't go and have an accident somewhere else. And that's why we like using a kennel or if they don't go in front of you, keep them on the leash so that way they don't have, because I'm gonna run away and hide around the corner and pee. So then we keep on repeating that process. Now there's a couple things you can do to cheat. Dog, for dogs, uh, liquids is about 45 minutes. Solids uh, takes about eight hours to digest. So if you do this on a Saturday or Sunday or a day where you guys are gonna be home, put warm water in with the dry kibble and for breakfast. And you know she's gonna to have to go within 45 minutes, probably about close to 35 to 45 minutes. So what you do is you take the dog out and then be out in the backyard and just have treats with you and then just wait, or you can go back and forth like I talked about earlier. But now you know you kind of loaded her up a little bit so you know the urination's gonna to need to come. And as soon as she does, we reward her richly. Now, sometimes I'll do something called the jackpot when I have adult dogs like this, we want them to, we want to jumpstart this as quickly as we possibly can. So you take them out, and I would take them out one at a time because they'll get distracted. Again, this is only for a week. So you take them outside, and as soon as uh, Stella does her thing, you say business, as soon as she starts, when she gets done, you have five treats. And you go business, 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 business. She's like, holy cow, what did I just do? I just got the mother load of treats. I gotta remember what I did. Well, we're using very, very high value training treats. You can use like a cookie treat. I recommend never using milk bones because they have yellow dye number five and it gives dogs cancer. Uh, but I would use a, like a beef treat. These are chicken liver, they have a strong smell. So we want a really high reward for the dog. Um, so if you go out with each dog and do this every time they go out for uh, a week, solid every bowel movement, which I know is a big pain, but after a week, Stella's like, I will dare not waste this urine inside the house. This stuff is valuable. I do it outside and I get paid like there's no tomorrow. And again, that positive reinforcement really helps. 
Um, now, like I said, taking them at the right time is also super duper helpful. Um, so, um, you know, watch those three times. If you do the laser or the stairs or that sort of stuff, immediately take them outside afterwards and have a treat pouch like this or just have a little ramekin or something like that so every time she goes, you know you can reward her. And if you do happen to get out there and you don't have one and she does her business, say the word business once, when she gets done, get down and just spend a couple minutes, say business once, and just pet her in all her favorite spots while you look like a tiger. Uh, with her, uh, with her uh, brindle, but just really pet her. I mean, the uh, affection is a great way to reward a dog as well. We want the dogs just to know that this is something that's very, very desirable. Right now, problem is the dogs get petted so much by one of the guardians in the house, they don't really have much motivation to listen. So when that guardian also starts withholding some of that attention and making the dogs earn it, and then this is something that gets like attention overload, well, then this is an activity that I want to do. Now, one last little tip. Um, these dogs are not the greatest for walks, but it sounds like they really like walks. They just kind of are all over the place. A lot of us kind of almost punish our dogs because they're outside, they're having fun, and then they potty, and then we bring them inside. Well, so potty means the end of fun. So if you can, after they potty, have a leash outside, take the dog just halfway around the block. Doesn't have to be a super long walk, but I get another reward. After I potty, we always go for a walk. And I would have the same word for pee and poop. A lot of people come up with a different word for each one, but uh, studies show that it's actually just easier to do it with uh, the same word for each dog. Um, so yeah, well, this is Stella, and these are some tips and tricks you have, you can use if you have a dog that has accents or likes to pee in the house.